The village of Letter has a population of 2,200. Lining the main road is nearly everything the locals need. From a butcher's to a baker's, a hairdresser's and even a driving school. There's even a doctor's practice, but unfortunately, no doctor. This building is empty. Locals have come up with some incentives to attract a new doctor to their corner of the world. I'm offering a free haircut. We donate some sausages for the housewarming party, and he or she could get everything free for a week while they settle in. In Nico's grandfather's day, Letta always had a doctor. But these days, it seems that qualified doctors would rather work in the cities. There's more going on in the evenings and on the weekends in the city. Obviously, out here in the countryside, it's a bit quiet. In the past, the doctor was on call 24 hours a day, even Sundays. If someone wasn't well, they'd ring his bell. And perhaps today they think that's too much to ask. A local radio station has launched an initiative to help Letta solve its problem. Two hundred kilometers north of Letta is Dersum, home to some 1,400 people. It also has a supermarket, a small hotel, a bank, and even a doctor. But not for much longer. Heinz Hilling has actually retired. He passed his idyllically situated practice onto his son. But like so many other doctors, the latter opted to move away just after a few years. So now the sign says Heinz again, not Heiko. Heinz is 67 and has gone back to work mainly because he doesn't want to leave his patients in the lurch. I've been looking after some families for three generations. And I know that makes it hard for some of my patients to see anyone else. So that's why I've carried on. His reward is his patient's devotion. He's a real country doctor. He's the real thing. We hope he'll have found a good replacement by the end of the year. Because that's when Heinz Hilling is retiring for good. He's looking for someone to take over the practice, but he's none too optimistic. Desum is likely to suffer the same fate as so many other villages in Germany. And that, even though the locals have promised to raise money to help the new doctor redecorate. Back in Letter, things are looking up. It seems that the locals' promises of free sausage and haircuts might have paid off. The local radio station has reported that a doctor is moving to town after all. But there's one catch. He's a homeopathist. No one seems to mind, though. It's better than nothing after all. Everyone's been to one, for back trouble, problems with their legs, things where doctors haven't helped. I think he'll be able to help a bit. It's a good extra service, but I don't think he can replace a real doctor. And so the search goes on. Letter is still desperately seeking a doctor. Then it will finally have everything a village needs along with a butcher, a baker, a hairdresser's and a driving school.